Hello everyone, something a little different today. This is Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal P.I. A phasmophobia like sort of? Let's go ahead and jump in. So start a new game. Never thought I'd have my own office as a paranormal investigator. For years, I just did this for fun and rarely made any money doing it. I finally earned enough business to justify renting this place, and after several months, I think I got it looking somewhat professional. I also had my first customer visit in here the other day. I should look at the map in the back to get an idea of where I'm going to be investigating. All right. So let me just see what we got. So right clicking seems to switch on and on your flashlight. Then you can have a temp sensor. Which doesn't turn off, it just stays on forever. EMF meter. Ooh, we got some EMF right here from our computer. Audio recorder. I clicked record, but nothing happened. Oh, okay. So it was just recording, and then it takes a while. EVP session. Select a question. How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me? There's no ghost here, so. Cool. Yeah, it's like windy outside. Right, we, got, we have a camera with night vision. Doesn't seem like it has enough charge. It has battery meter, but doesn't seem like you're limited in how many pictures you can take. At least not for now. And that's it. All right. Ooh. Gotcha. Okay. I'm just looking around. Seems like a normal office. Like it's not, you know. It's like someone took a building and actually tried to model it. Okay, so I can highlight all these different things. It's like this. Jefferson Street, you have not been invited to investigate this location. Well, that's unfortunate. How do I back out? New Eidolon. I've not been invited. I've not been invited. Is it only just the top one? Ah, okay. Evergreen Lane. Observed ghost. Trophy level. You want to investigate? Yes. <clears throat> the homeowners reached out to me a few days ago, seeming to be rather desperate for help. This family is convinced their house is haunted. They moved into the house about a year ago, and within the first few months, the wife heard odd sounds like footsteps coming from the upstairs as she was on the main floor. Her husband told her she was hearing things until he heard them himself. They have three children, and the two youngest informed mom earlier last week they have seen a young child playfully skipping through the upstairs hallway. Mom expressed her children feel they have a new playmate, but she does not share the same feeling. This is unsettling for the parents who want to get to the bottom of this. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. All right. We have notes. The type of types of ghosts, residual, intelligent, poltergeist, and demonic. How to investigate. Okay, wow. Okay, there's a lot, a lot going on here. This is like a little pamphlet. <laughs> Uh, after years of watching ghost hunting shows on various networks and participating in hunts. Okay. Spend time on, on the case. So it's about establishing data points. Our primary goal is to use passive tools to gain understanding of the property. Then we use active tools 
to collect indisputable evidence. And the goal is to find evidence. See, I like that. I like that that's not just about like identifying what the ghost is or surviving hunts or whatever. It's all about collecting proof. So we got a flashlight. All locations have a natural fluctuation in temperature. It's key to have a baseline, not jump to conclusions. You need to find cold spots. Okay, EMF. It's imperative to understand the location, not jump to any conclusions. Once you find an, an anomaly, spend some time reviewing it and update your notes. Audio recorder. We turn on the recorder for five second intervals. And then if we capture anything, it updates their notes. Not all ghostly sounds may be captured. Or do an EVP session to ask questions. And then see if a voice was captured. Then we have a camera. Take as many photos as needed. Only update your notes when a photo of something paranormal has been captured. <clears throat> Alright. So this is what we're looking for. Evidence, temperature data, EMF data, auto da audio data, and photos. And we already know that most of the data was upstairs. So let's go upstairs. With a temperature sensor out. I should turn this light off. Okay. Or they mean... This light? It's not immediately clear exactly where there. The I hear noises. So this isn't a talking game. It's not like Phasmophobia where you talk to the ghosts and they talk back. Not that I'm aware. I'm hearing some things. Those noises. Alright, it's not counting as uh, activity though. Uh, let's do a... Let's do a, a thing. Whoa! 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 Wow. I, I took a photo of a ghost. Hello! I've obtained a photo of what appears to be a residual ghost. This is amazing evidence. Okay. <laughs> is this your home? Is this your home? Oh, I don't have to talk. Is this your home? Whoa, whoa! Okay. Okay. So it's, she just walks back and forth. That was a very unusual noise. I will keep that as evidence. <laughs> what about some EMF? Got some. Got the TV here. Oh, got EMF five. Where was that? It was like right here-ish. I keep on... Oh, there's the girl again. Yeah. 
Yeah, EMF five. Lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. Well, it's not that scary, Ghost. Once you once you figure out her her pattern, she just walks back and forth. Ooh. I heard a whisper. But I think I missed it. Okay, I got some abnormal EMF, but I need more. And I need more audio data, too. Here she goes again. Where is she? That's extraordinary audio evidence. Okay. Three pieces of evidence that cannot be explained. I hear some odd whistling. Let's see if we can get another... No, let's see if we can get some temperatures. Find a cold spot. Here we go. Wait a minute, I hear something. But maybe I don't need more. Yeah, let's just look for a cold spot. We have the um, the audio evidence we need. Here she goes again. Oh! Oh my! <laughs> it's 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 unsettling. Even knowing it's like harmless, it's still very unsettling. Well, this temperature seems pretty sta stable. Oh, there we go. There was a cold spot somewhere. Hmm, these temp readings are unusual. Here she comes again. I haven't been down here very much. Here she comes. What a rare experience to take a photo of a ghost. Yeah, can I get EMF while you're walking by me? EMF five. For a moment. Uh, it's 68.7, so it's a little colder in this room than the other room. Oh, oh, we got something. Where was that? Here she goes again. And we have some colder temperatures. I'm not sure exactly if the temperature is where I'm pointing. Oh, I'm standing next to the grate. That's not. It's is it where I'm pointing or where I'm standing? Okay, so it is definitely colder in here. There she goes. Oh, she went over this way this time. Whispering. That's extraordinary audio evidence. More than three pieces of audio evidence. Okay, so that's probably all we need. Okay. Some abnormal readings and some cold spots we need to continue investigating. Ooh. Laughing noises. 
That was a very unusual noise. Yeah, this didn't change anymore. Minutes. Oh, this game's creepy. I don't know, for some reason this is a lot more scary, but it might just be because I haven't played I haven't played it very much in Phasmo, I've played a ton of. Uh, the computer is making the EMF. Little girl. Come walk by again. She's just talking to me again. Oh, the EMF from the microwave. A lot of EMF from the microwave. But what was that? Bit of a spike from this wall socket. Never mind. Let's look for temperatures. So the window is a bit cold. Or, no, this is a cold spot. Or it was. That's creepy. That's very creepy. I think that might just be the window. Yeah. Oh. Well, this window isn't cold. Sorry, I'm just like, I'm glued to this number I'm looking at. Let's go somewhere else. She's mostly out in this corridor. There we go. This is something cold. Here she comes by again. Little girl, are you cold? I don't think this is enough to count as like evidence. You know, this might be easier to look at it in Celsius. But it might actually give you some I mean it's it's moving around so much is the issue. I want it I want less I want it to be like more obvious when it's something I care about. You ready to go walking again? There she goes. Whoa! Right through us. Ooh. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Yeah, yeah, we get it's easy to get the audio, but we're not getting the other bits. What's the TV? It's the wall socket. There we go, here's an EMF five. The EMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. There we go. We absolutely detect a paranormal activity. Perfect. Now we've got the EMF, we have the audio, we have the photo, we just need temperature data. We have, we've, we've spent all our time upstairs. We could look around for cold spots downstairs. Here she goes again. There's lots of little fluctuation, but it doesn't feel dramatic enough. Like, it needs to drop down to, like, like 60, at least, before I think it matters. And it's not like I can just, like, home in on it. It doesn't really feel like I can home in on it. 
Something is there we going go. on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Well, there we go. Definitely paranormal, definitely paranormal. Audio evidence that can be not be explained. I think we're done. Let me just... Is there anything else I can do here? We said it was a residual. Yeah. So, spirit to act at a moment in their life unaware of their surroundings. Let me just look at the other ones. Intelligent. A shadow person peeking around to their house. They have the capacity to communicate and interact. A poltergeist, which throws stuff. Makes sense. And then a demonic, which I think is a bit obvious. So we think it's a residual. And I think we're done. How do I mark it? I guess I don't need to mark it. Head back to your truck to compile your report. Bye, little girl. There's no running or dashing. That's our truck. It is dark out here. <laughs> Ghost problems. <laughs> uh, maybe get into the back. Yeah. There we go. CSPPI obtained evidence, conclusive evidence uh, on the aforementioned devices supporting the fact that this residence is haunted. Substantial paranormal activity has been found within the home. There's no reason for concern. This appears to be a residual ghost. Residual ghosts are spirits who backed out a moment of their previous life, unaware of their surroundings, replaying the same event over and over. Through previous research, it seems like these entities, being oblivious to their surroundings, do not intelligently interact with the environment. The memory of their previous life, for whatever reason, has been imprinted on the world and plays the unpredictable moments. The activity will probably continue with various intensities, but is completely harmless. Cool! That was great! I loved it! <laughs> Let's do another one. And I gotta admit, I was like really shocked when the when she first showed up. So, like, is there another house? I've not been invited. Hmm. The first house again? The Skipping Child. Ah! You can select a ghost to replay the investigation or go and find a new one? I don't know. Is there... No, it seems like we're only invited to do one. Is this an apparition skipping through the house? Is that the actual picture I took? It might be. So this is eventually going to fill up. That's cool. I love it. That's a nice little progression indicator. Well, let's go back to that house and just see what we got. I received a call a few days back from the homeowners who believe their house is haunted. They catch a glimpse of someone or something out of the corner of their eye, which disappears about as quickly as it appears. It seems like the entire family has noticed this at one time or another. They stated seeing this figure throughout their house, primarily as the family is watching television. It'll enter their peripheral vision from another room. Initially, they didn't believe what they were seeing, but soon became convinced when everyone was witnessing the same thing. At first, this was very startling for them, now they are more curious if anything. They want to understand what they are seeing. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. All right. Well, so ev they saw something from from where they are watching television, like from back there. Let's turn off the light. I 
Here, will this make it? Okay. It's so dark. Like, can I mess with the dark? Maybe not right now. Oh. Like, I'm not even sure what I'm seeing. So there's a TV here also, so they might be here in this this room looking past it. Down that away. Oh there's a TV here too. These people have a lot of TVs. I have about one TV in my house. But they apparently have several. Well, so far there's like nothing here. Maybe look for cold spots? Here's a cold spot, maybe. Not cold enough, maybe just the basement's always cold. Open up. Okay, yeah, it's it's much colder here in the basement. But that's just the baseline temperature difference. Oof. This is a horrible basement. No, it's not so bad. But you'd like want to put some stuff on the walls to make it feel a little better. An old exercise bike. Yeah, yeah, that's that's how it works. Okay, I'm not getting any temperature changes down here. So I don't think... Like up here it fluctuates at least. I think that creaking is just, it's not anything, it's just walking around. Alright, we're not getting any temperature. Let's try EMF. I got a two. Oh, it was just, it was, uh, I was just on top of the TV. This place isn't haunted. There's nothing going on here.
the wall. A figure on the main floor of the house. I keep expecting to see something looking around the corner, but if it is, it's too dark for me to detect. Whoop. EMF 4. I think that's just the wall. Maybe do a audio thing? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? It's very still. The girl just announced herself right away the moment we saw her. I mean, I mean she, she showed herself the moment we got into the house. This one's being a bit more coy. What was that? Thought I heard something. Whoa! No, that's just a blanket. <laughs> Alright, we need to go to some other thing. Oh, EMF 5 here. In the bathroom. Come on. Comment on it? That was totally EMF 5. Maybe we didn't get it long enough. What's back here? A little walk-in closet? Oh, we finally saw something that was paranormal. Oh my god. Amazing! I took a picture of a ghost. Did I? Oh my god, help me. I saw what appears to be a shadow person. I didn't see it. I, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> oh my god. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. Oh my god, that was just from nothing. Maybe we had to let it out. It was like in the room. Oh! 
chilling. Whoa! So it shut the door. Yeah, EMF, no. EMF 5? Is that for me? Or, yeah, there we go, EMF 5. These lights are acting funny. Yeah. Continue investigating. There we go. More EMF five. I didn't actually see it. <sighs> Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. It was. Okay, we're starting to get some activity. Like, I may have just needed some time to get going. Here. You want to do an EVP? Is this your home? Is this your home? Ah! What am I... Oh, I turned the light on. No. So most of the activity we're getting is around this room, right here, this bathroom. Stop shutting my doors! Show yourself and all that. No, it's just the TV. Let's look for temperature. We haven't found anything on that yet. No, no. Oh. It looked like it was going down. It's not going too far though. Let's turn on the lights. Hmm. These there, yeah, that's a cold spot.
Maybe? I didn't see it. I still want to see it. Like I'm expecting it to just be like a, a face looking around the corner or something. Get some more temperature readings. I mean, it said it was main floor, but maybe we can find something up here too. Let's quickly survey it, you know. But kind of what I'm imagining is that like there's a physical, uh, like not physical because it's it's in a game, but you know they actually place a little asset which is a um, a cold spot. And if you just bring this object near it, then you get a reading. And it like lingers there for a time and then goes away. Sorry, I'm thinking in terms of like how would you program a game like this more than in terms of like how would a ghost behave. Ruining my immersion. This is what happens when you have a degree in computer science. Well, this temperature reading is a stuck now. Here, okay, now it goes up outside. You hear chimes. In the basement, eh? Just the air conditioning. Oh, this door closed also. EMF five. VMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. There we go. We got that one. Cold spot. Something Come on. Is going there we go. These yeah. Readings are definitely paranormal. Okay, so we got temperature, we got EMF. We need more audio. And I would love to get a picture. I mean, it says I got one, but I I, I can't see it in the picture. More chimes. There it is, I saw it! 
I saw it. Okay. It was really quick, but that was definitely someone right there in that door. Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? Why are you here? Why are you here? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? I think those are just genuine chimes, they're not the ghost. That was new. Did I get it? What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. <laughs> All right, so three pieces. Can we get more than three pieces? Oh, we got some lights. Whoa. I'll keep that as audio evidence. I think we're good. So, paranormal, paranormal, cannot be explained. I've taken a photo of a shadow person. Like, I didn't actually see it in the picture we took, but I saw it later. Yeah, I think we're good. I'll give you one more chance to try to startle me. Come on. Nope. Disembodied voices. We obtain conclusive evidence on the aforementioned devices supporting the fact that this residence is haunted. Substantial paranormal activities have been found within the home. There's no reason for concern. This is an intelligent ghost in the form of a shadow person. Based on years of research, we're under the impression that the living form of this ghost was unfulfilled when it passed away. Perhaps learning some history about the house may shed some light on the subject. In a rare number of cases, investigators have identified resolution for the spirit and it disappeared, like putting the old shoes back on the wall where you found them remodeling. If there are further concerns, we'll return to the residence for a follow-up investigation. Enjoy your ghost friend. <laughs> well, this was great fun. I'm going to keep on playing this. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, let me know if you want to see more. Thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time.